So this is a tutorial video about how to use automatic root canal segmentation using the software 3D Slicer. First of all, make sure that you are using the right version of the 3D Slicer, which is that one here. After that, you should make sure that you have the extension applied. In this case here, Slicer Automated Dental Tools are already installed, but in case you don't have it yet, you need to go here and install the extensions. You look for it here and then you install it. And please make sure that you reinitiate your slicer uh, before to use the tool. So after you have the extension applied to the slicer software, you just need to come here in this tab and go to Automated Dental Tools, you should choose AMAS. So in the AMAS tab, you can choose a file as input, or you can choose a folder as input. In my case, I'm going to choose a folder with four different scans. Here I can uh, upload my folder, which I call the scans. I'm just going to show you very quickly my folder with the four scans here so you can have an idea how it works. Uh, the next step is to download the listed code and then you click here and this tab will direct you to the download of the code. When the download is done you just go on search and then you apply the model. So for root canal segmentations, uh, you can only use small field of view scans. That is my case here. So you need to click here and make sure that you choose the right option. And then here we will have the root canal option clicked. You can also choose together the maxillar and the mandible. I will just use the root canal for now. The next step is choosing your output features. Here we can uh, have an option uh, of choosing if you want or not a VTK file generated automatically with the segmentation. I will click here because I want it. Uh, in the generated files, you can let one segmentation file because basically I'm choosing a single structure to be segmented, but when you are choosing more than one like, for example, maxilla and root canal, you can choose separated segmentation so you will have one file for the root canal and another file for the maxilla. Uh, and then if you choose separated or merged, you have a file with them separated, but you will also have a file with all the segmentations together. In my case, I'm choosing a single structure, which is the root canal, so I will let it here. You can rename your prediction, I will call it RC. And then you can choose the folder that will storage your outputs. In my case, I choose the same folder as the input folder. The GPU usage and CPU, I just put the maximum that my computer is allowed, the maximum capacity of the computer. And after that, you just need to click on run prediction. And here you can see that the prediction is running. Finally, when your prediction is done, we will have a number here showing that it's a hundred percent. And then you will find in your file uh, all the archives you were seeking for, you were looking for. So here I have my scans now together with the segmentations and the VTK files. I will upload here to show you as an example. So here we can find the segmentations of the root canals and also the VTK models. 
for the root canals. Everything made automatically. I hope you liked this video. And that's it. Thank you so very much.